Hi. Okay, so yesterday and today I'm feeling a little better. Um, and I believe, I, I spoke about this yesterday a little bit. I, I believe a lot of it had to do with journaling yesterday morning and just writing out all the reasons that even though I'm sad, <laughs> all the reasons that the breakup's a good thing. And it doesn't feel good to say that. I feel like a tightening in my chest and my throat when I say that. It's warm out today. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just gotta open my chest and open my throat and relax my shoulders and just allow it to be. Um, there's still anxiety. There's still sadness, but I'm okay with that being there. Sort of. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get to that point. I, uh, I don't like it. I mean, that's what's all being. I don't like it, but I'm okay that I don't like it. So I'm one step away from being okay with being sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad and I don't like it, but I'm okay that I don't like it. So next stop, being okay that it's there. Um, and Michael Sing Singer says eventually enjoying it in a way that I think, you know, not happy enjoy, <laughs> but like, this is life. Let's be here and experience it, kind of enjoy. Um, and I'm also feeling, you know, queasiness in my stomach and still, still lots of unhappy breakup feelings, but I'm functioning much better than I normally would be. Um, and I'm looking forward to the future. <sighs> Again, a little bit of pain there, knowing that the future's without him. But it's always kind of weird to walk past people while I'm doing this. Um, but, you know, I'm, uh, I'm actively working on it. Like, yeah, man, like lots of unf unfun, uncomfortable feelings in my body right now. But um, that's okay. That's what's necessary to get through this, right? <laughs> so... This morning I was writing and I was, you know, like there's <clears throat> the whole thing can be traced back to his mom's attitudes towards older women. <laughs> so weird, but uh, that's that's the reality of the situation. And I have been working on loving her anyway because we want to love everybody, especially those who we feel wronged by, which is ironic because so here, okay, here's some emotions. Irritation, because he didn't even say anything to her, but that's okay because I know the consequences of saying something. <laughs> um, but it's ironic because she doesn't even really know about me at all. Um, but as I said before, I can't wish her to be any different from exactly who she is because otherwise he would be, he would be different from exactly who he is and who he is, is wonderful. And who would I, even if he wasn't, who would I be to wish someone else to be different, right? Not my business, <laughs> but I'm glad that he is the way he is. I'm grateful to the universe to have had him in my life for the time that I had him. And I'm grateful that he exists in this world because he makes it a better place. Um, so if I wished that she was different, it would be wishing that he were different. And that's not something I want to wish for. Something I definitely don't wish for. So I don't wish that she were different. And because she is the way she is, he, because, because the way she is, is the way, because of the way he is or why he is, I also have to love her because I love him. And that means I have to love everything that made him the way he is. Um, so I've been, 
praying for her um, and blessing her and praying for her health and happiness and long life, which is good because it counteracts some of the negative thoughts I've had um, and maybe even some of the feelings I still do. But, uh, you know, life is how it is and she's going to live a, a long and healthy life and he's going to be happy and she's going to be happy and that's going to be great. <laughs> and I'll be happy too because I have what I needed from the relationship. Needed. Needed's a weird word. But it, it's helped me grow and in its ending it's helping me grow even more. And, uh, you know, it helped me love myself and believe in myself. And it's helping me love myself and believe in myself even more now. So, it's warm. It is warm. Um, so, you know, I just keep saying and writing to myself that, you know, sorry, this is slow. This is slow, people. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. <clears throat> yeah, so what was the point I was making? So, the other big thing that has helped me feel better, I believe, is that I'm concentrating on my work and getting my business started. And um, that does distract me. It's not so much distraction as it is just gives me something else to focus on, which I guess you could label distraction, but I don't feel like it's me avoiding the emotions, avoiding the thoughts, avoiding everything. It's me just allowing it, letting it go, and it's making it easier for me to let go. Because this way I'm not focused on it, you know? Um, and I'm also, I was having a conversation with my housemate about this in a different context, but you need to be okay, or I need to be okay, excuse me. Let me talk for myself, not for you. <laughs> But it is my experience that one must be okay with where one is, even if one is frustrated that one is not further along. Um, so that was discussing that in terms of her life, but in terms of mine, you know, um, it's just it's one of those things where you have to accept you. I have to accept and let's stop saying have to because that's scarcity and it means it's not happening. It means that it, if I keep saying have to or need, that always puts it in the future and it feels like I don't have it now. Um, so let's not delay it any longer. I accept. See, now here's the, here's the issue I'm having. Um, if I say I accept, it's not like automatically I accept. <laughs> I'm just saying it so that I get myself into into saying it and in, in, in my get that into my mind because words words count and um, but because I'm doing these to try and put forth an example of people of someone trying to get past or not trying see trying um, as an example of someone who is working on being healthier emotionally and um, working on um, so spiritual, spiritual stuff too. But as an example of someone who's working on themselves emotionally, I don't want to put forth and have you think that I have accepted it just because I say I accept it. Uh, because I want you to know that that's, it's not that easy. But at the same time, I need to be, I need, yes, I need, <laughs> I need to be saying that to myself and out loud so that I hear it and it gets in my brain. Um, so I'm going to start saying that I accept it. <laughs> I accept that I have, um, I'm going to have those emotions. I'm going to have, and I do, I mean, yeah, I guess I, I do accept it that I'm going to have all these emotions and that there's no way around them that I have to go through them all and it's not going to happen all at once because that's <clears throat> one of my uh, 
many things that I will work on. Um, patience. <laughs> I just want to be through it, but you know what? Like, I gotta also remember, not gotta, <laughs> I also will keep in mind that this is, this process is something I am grateful for and that I, yeah, I need to be, that I am present for. So I need, I am working on being present for it because a lot of times I think when we have emotions that make us uncomfortable and that we don't want to have, we go somewhere else, not in the moment. And that's just loot, like you're just missing life if you do that. And it's so easy, none of us, I mean, very few of us actually live in the moment, um, which is something I'm working on because this is, this is the only reality we have. But going back to um, being okay with the place that I'm in, it's gonna take time, it's gonna be emotional. I'm going to deal with emotions that are uncomfortable and I'm just gonna, like, like always, relax. Relax my shoulders, breathe deeply, unclench everything that is, in, is clenched and just observe it, be conscious of it, be conscious of the thoughts that go along with it, but lean away and not get involved. That is the way to deal with it. Um, and that will take a while. And I am where I am. It's actually a really good place considering. Um, guys, seriously, I mean, when I think about it, uh, I think about every other breakup, every other breakup I've ever been in through. I'm in an amazing place right now, <laughs> as far as that's concerned. So I need to also, I should, I am also looking at that, right? Being cognizant of that, that even though I'd like to be further along, I am grateful and also proud of myself to be where I am with this. Um, so, you know, that's another thing to keep in mind, uh, being grateful for, yeah, you're not as far as maybe I'm not as far as I, I want. Well, see, I don't even want to be, see, this is, this is, this is what's happening. It's not even that I want to skip it all. It's not. I recognize that I have to go through it and that it's a process and in order to get the most out of it, get the most out of life do the most healing possible and become as strong as possible. Um, I need to fully, fully feel it and fully go through it. I can't just wish it away. I have to be grateful for it. I am grateful for it. So, it's so warm guys, it's so warm out. Um, sorry. So, yeah. Um, and when one exists in the moment, one can be fully present with those emotions. One can experience them the way they need to be, they should be experienced. Um, so that one can let one, one can let them go. I can let them go. Because in the end, by experiencing the feelings in the moment and allowing them to be there, just observing them and letting go, I'm allowing them to pass through me the way they're supposed to pass through me. As opposed to clenching my fists and my jaw and my eyes shut and wishing I were through it. And, you know, all that trauma that comes along with that. Honestly, guys, the, um, I don't know, the emotional problems that come up because you're trying to get over something, you're trying not to feel something, is so there's so much worse than the, the actual feeling it's weird but it's true <laughs> trying not to feel something feels much worse because there's so many <clears throat> so much anxiety that comes along with it and that's really what you're feeling it's not the emotion it's so ironic it's not the emotion that you're afraid of it's the emotion that you really i mean maybe it is the emotion that you feel but it's really the emotion that you feel while you're trying to get away from the emotion. That's 
for me at least I'm discovering is the hardest part um, because you don't have those feelings of panic anymore or, or maybe you do I do have feelings of panic sometimes but again same thing relax and let go and um, allow it to be oh look that's I'm feeling panic now interesting okay I have some work to do <laughs> I need to go do some work I'll focus on my work and just allow panic to be there if it wants to hang out it'll hang out if it wants to go away it'll go away <laughs> um, but <laughs> kind of going off on tangents here I really want to get into shape guys I said it because there's a girl with a really nice body who's <laughs> running past me yeah, and I'm yeah. like oh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got allergies, I think. Anyway. <sighs> so, allowing yourself to feel those things requires being in the moment. And what I was listening to last night with Mike Singer, as always, because I am a cultist. <laughs> Probably should stop using that word. But honestly, like, all I do is listen to Michael Singer and think about, like, what he has to say and apply it to my life. So, it's a good thing, though. Um, oh, there's an un unpleasant emotion. Let's feel that one, shall we? <laughs> Don't like that feeling. That, had, that, that was connected to the breakup. Um, anyway, <sighs> the way to feel these emotions is to be present in the moment. And Michael Singer, the, what I was listening to Michael Singer, one of the things, he, points he was making in the seminar I was listening to last night, um, is that... Our goal in life, really, one of the goals in life, really should be to elevate every moment that you're in. Every moment should be better. You can make every moment better. There's like, it's got a few Every moment, um, sorry. Every moment that is in front of you is, let's say, it's the only moment you got. It's the only reality there is, right? And I can cope with that reality. Nothing bad's happening right now. I don't have to think about the fact that we'll never be together again. That, that I will accept that in time. I don't have to accept that right now. I will just keep that in mind. But it's not something I have to force myself to think about and force myself to accept. Because that's not how it works. Apparently, the way I've been going about this my whole life, not right. That's not how it works. You just got to allow yourself to heal. And you heal, your healing will take care of itself as long as you, as long as you allow it. So you want to, or I want to work on elevating each moment in front of me because it has, everything has happened since the big bang, it, the, exactly the way it is to bring this moment, not, you know, not to bring this moment in the sense of like the point of the, the entire big bang was this moment. But this moment before me is in front of me. This exact moment before me is in front of me because of everything that, every single thing that has happened since the Big Bang. And like, who are you to say, no, I don't like it, right? So if you can exist in the moment, if I can exist in the moment, you elevate that moment. That moment is lucky to have you because no one else is having this moment. This moment is completely my moment. These trees, the pond, the people walking by, the pain I have in my stomach, the glasses coming down my nose, the robin in front of me, all of it is my moment. No one else is, is experiencing it, so why not experience it to the fullest, right? This is my life. And if I'm not experiencing my life, and if in instead I'm staying in my head, wondering or worrying or whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm not, I'm missing life, right? Um, so rather than trying to keep pain away and trying to get things that I want and avoid things that I don't want, I'm just going to enjoy the moment in front of me because that's all you really have. Anyway, that's my thought. And again, <laughs> this is exactly how I end every, every one of these. There's a lot of beauty in life. Even if you're sad, there's a lot to be grateful for. Even if you're angry, any emotion that you're feeling right now, it's like, it's like this breakup, right? There, with the exception of how it makes me feel, 
it's the right thing, 100%. Like, as much, given reality, reality being what it is, situation being what it is, it has to be this way. And the benefits of it are actually enormous. I just don't like it. So, so who cares if I don't like it? <laughs> I care, but nothing, like, it doesn't affect anything, you know? So this moment, even though this, the situation, even though I'm sad about losing him and all of that, I'm grateful for it because I recognize all the good that's going to come out of it, that is coming out of it, and that is going to come out of it for both him and I and for the people in our lives. Um, so there's something that's bothering you. I mean, the only reason you think it's bad is because it's bothering you. <laughs> Try and keep that in mind. And, um, you know, which means you can always choose to have a great full day. <laughs>